don't know. No, I know it's uh, against the uh, game, but I, I just re uh, remember anyone who relies on uh, a stall is a skillless tryhard, so uh, setting up toxic Xbox, that's just gonna hover in the back of your conscience. I'm gonna turn around and go deal with those other trainers. The reason I feel Stall and Entry Hazards are kind of skillless is that they sort of only have one way to counter them, meaning once you lose that counter, you're basically fucked. Oh, this is fucking perfect! <laughs> this, I like! This is why Intimidate is absolutely ridiculous. I'm just gonna flame wheel you and... When you talk, you. Oh, perfect. With the attack drop, that thing should do. Unless the game sets up like bulk up or something. Oh, sweep against. Why is that the. Oh, it's the speed one. Hey, uh, dum dum. The bird didn't need priority. It was a guarantee. Give me all that money. I love you and your coin. That twenty one guns music. Just wanted to come back for some trainers I missed. It's just that one part sounds so much like 21 gun- Oh, I'm Junior. <laughs> I know animal breeders are actual professions, but just the- like, the idea of my uh, job is to make them fuck, I find hilarious. I mean, Pokemon have sex for a living. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I know an animal breeder's a real thing, and I get why we do it. Oh, hey, Clef. We don't have any. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I guess use the Rosalia because it... Poison was this fairy. Yeah, that was... You resist a fairy, and we have the other thing of if you set up a, like, if you set up Leech Seed against it, we'll see if it has Magic Guard. I was kind of hoping Leech Seed would miss on the first turn to prove a petty point. It, it didn't do No, it would be oh, at the wait, end of the next turn. Hold on, confusing. Oh, nope, there it is. Okay, it's cute charm then. Or the game is playing hard uh, a ball and oh. or the it's probably just going to uh, keep um uh, throwing out sweet kiss, but uh, hey, we're gonna keep killing it with leech seed. Oh, and that's why you don't switch. I was confused. Hey, uh, at least like I said, we're killing it with leech seed. This is. I hate confusion. I was trying to switch. I can just come in on a lot. Because it wouldn't. Or if seeing your confusion fucking miss. There we go. And I know this kills. Well, any hit would have killed it. It's a Cleffa. It's just because it's a Cleffa, it has Sing and, uh... Oh, Badoo. This is a good Badoo counter. Just... I know this is a bizarre Badoo counter, but I just wanted it's to... It's because it's... Uh, like... What? <laughs> it... I think I'll, that was a four times resist.
Basically. And the game seems to have realized the problem yeah, because like it's attacking move is a four times to this, so it's just gonna sit here with her spam and grow. Seriously. Hey, the <sighs> game's not attacking. My dumb idea worked for a different reason. Wanna kill it with a disrespect grass knot? How would you know it? <laughs> My dumb idea worked. <laughs> there it is. Amoongus can't hurt you. Amoongus can't <laughs> hurt you. I'm sorry, I just remember I, uh, I see a, uh, a mushroom. I have war flashbacks, and I am waiting to see a fucking Amoongus for a second. It's not in this game. Yes. We're back to Generation 4. We're back to every Spore user except for one being garbage, as it should be. Oh, uh, yeah, this is always annoying. Ah, got it. Got it. So I kind of feel like at points, spores should maybe just be removed from the game, but I realize if you did that, overcoat would basically become worthless. Now we're- well, one, something we definitely need as a restriction because they did this for, um, <laughs> they did this for Dark Void. Spores should only work on the Pokemon it is naturally available on. Smeargle should not be able, able to... to learn it, yes. I can agree with you. You did that with a dark void, you can do that with this one. Have on diamond and pearl logic, a bunch of nonsense has moved around. There's also a bunch of shit that's just gone. And I do honestly kind of like that. Yeah, but the Diamond and Pearl logic, a bunch of shit is just missing or changed. Yeah, I know. This is a surprisingly well-lit <laughs> grave tower. <laughs> Uh, as you, per usual, our commentary is all over the place. Make a point, we need to talk about things. Proceed to not talk about those things. I do like the Dex reversion because a lot of just... Hey, show off. It's a good opportunity for this. Yes. What? Yes. It's a grass type. By reverting back to Gen 4, we don't have a lot of the stupid, obnoxious things that I feel made doubles a bit too skillless. And I know that there are those people that do that fucking tryhard. Oh. You just don't know how to play Pokemon and complain. Oh, Cricket Town. On before, before I make my point. She's gotta hear it. She's a <sighs> ah. Flying ah. bug. Well, I, this goes back. She's a bitch. This goes back to like what I said earlier with. This is good bird. Yeah, with stealth rock and uh, just injury hazards in general in single. Oh. Type.
Oh, well, that happened. Come on. For the memes. It's technically more reliable than copycat because you have to go after the thing. Yeah. Madrigal can literally pull any move in the game. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. I, I know there's going to be that smart ass. Uh, copycat doesn't pull any move in the game. There's a few... There's a few moves copycat can't pull. The... <laughs> there were one or two, like... I mean, Madrigal can pull any move. There's one or two kind of weird moves it can't. In generation, um, like in later I games. Just seeing what was over here. Well, actually, the funny thing is, we might be back to, uh, to like copycat and metronome being able to copy slash pull anything because in the later games, the moves that it can't interact with are moves that have special effects like King Shield because that changes uh, Age of Slash's form or. Um, oh, hey, Kirby! Oh yeah, the the biker named Kirby and he has a, a clef, huh? I forgot about that. I bet I could just obliterate this thing. It's a clef, huh? Clefairy and Clefable are kinda tanky. Clefa, not so much! Anyway, like I said, the reason I feel like entry hazards and a bunch of shit is a kind of skill is, for one, it just is, and, and two, like I said, it's because, like, uh, whenever, you know, you complain about entry hazards, it's like, oh, you ha have to run something with defog, or it's like, oh, you have to uh, run something with uh, uh, rapid span, but that's my problem. It's those two moves. Meaning you either are going to have to run multiple Polygon with one of those, or one Polygon with each. And once those go down, you're fucked. Cat. Now that's why for the longest time, something I've said, I feel like there needs to be more moves that delete entry hazards, but to balance it out, they delete them on both sides. Of course you're static, of fucking course you are. Okay, because Grass Resist, I'll let it trick when we fight Pikachu and shit. Maybe we should use the Rose Raid, just be- Yeah, Pikachu. I guess Swamp to Rose Raid because it resists. I'll let it trick if the game has it and we're hitting it. Hit it with Magical Leaf. Do not hit yeah. it. <laughs> Grass Knot is, um, tough well, damage. Well, it's tiny anyway, so we wouldn't want to use Grass Knot. Pikachu isn't, uh, like... Pikachu isn't heavy anymore. That was murder and a half. We got modest on this thing, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. Not worth it. Anyway, yeah, that's my uh, that's my problem, and mm, yeah, I feel there. Might proc one of my paralysis healing items. I feel there needs to be more. Right, or like, the other. Because, like, you're fucking uh, telling me that a Pokemon flapping its wings and creating defog, oh, that clears entry hazards, but throwing out Earthquake and Surf doesn't do anything. Yeah, I can use one. Or the controversial one that certain other people don't like the idea of, which is entry hazards! should only last a couple of turns. Honestly, I think... Eh, again, this is funny because I was thinking about this on my own a few days ago. To buff entry hazards, they need to create a lot more, like, stealth rocks for other types, like fire and grass and shit. But because of that, they go away over time and there are more ways to delete them. And I think that would be a fair balance. Entry has And another thing I think they should do as a balance... You should only be able to put so many types of entry hazards on the field. I feel you should only be able to put two types of entry hazards on the field. Entry hazards single-handedly control singles because stealth rocks are absolutely bullshit. And it basically forces you into running D-Fog or the buffed 
Rapid Spin. And I am sorry that's stupid because a bunch of good fire types were single-handedly ruined by stealth rocks, heavy-duty boots. Not just fire, like we're using a flying uh, a type. Star Raptor was kind of ruined by stealth rocks. This asshole was ruined by stealth rocks. Because stealth rocks do chip damage based on how weak to rock you are. So that means any type that has a rock weakness, no matter how good of a Pokemon it is, is arbitrarily worse. And, 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 and this is something I've been thinking of for a while. That's like, I've been thinking, because poison types can absorb... Absorb toxic spikes. They should do the same for other types. Like, because rock... Does rock resist itself? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure no. Okay. Uh, don't quote me on that. I, okay. Uh, then, I am pretty sure no, but don't. Okay, then still resist rock. I mean, one of the many ways I thought of you could have shit be deleted is have it where if a steel type comes in on spikes or stealth rocks, it just deletes them because it crushes them upon entry. Or if you, uh, <laughs> it being steel types is too broad, heavy metal. If you have the ability, heavy metal, you're so fucking fat, you just crush them on entry. Ah! Oh, there's the big boy! Goodbye, bye! My son! <laughs> this is a modern knockoff. And because you're boosting your speed, I'm. Not just modern knockoff. This is. Hold on. I'm making sure. Everybody, because the game it uses like EV train shit with items and stuff. This is one of the few times in a single player context I feel knockoff is amazing. Because normally the games barely ever have hold items on shit, so knockoff is good in a single player context, but it's not great because you'll sometimes encounter one or two things with an item, but not a lot. Almost every, like... Major battle in this game has some form of item. Yeah. Hmm, so, knock off, like... Oh, low sweep. Why can't you be the other one? Hey, that always lowers speed. Knockoff is good, but going back to that entry hazard talk, mm. I feel in a lot of cases entry hazards did kind of ruin the meta game. Because entry hazards. Oh, oh my phone is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Every time! Amber Alert? Yeah, Atlanta Georgia Child Abduction! Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Every time. That's a dark thing to make. Child Abduction Amber Alert for Atlanta Georgia. Both of these are just powerful neutrals. Maricar's also garbage. Honchgar is pretty cool, though. Oh, and this is just murder. Oh, amazing when you did it. The thing... Miss Trevis is one of those Polycon, I believe it was 80 and everything. So it is aggressive, only average. Come on, Infernape should move. Yeah. I said 80 and everything. Okay. Go back to. Injury hazards in a lot of ways. I get the intention behind their creation, but I do feel they kind of smothered singles because you basically always have an injury. Well, I would also say, because I've encountered this, you know, more than you would think. I would also say in some ways they, like, they also ruined doubles. There it is. 
Oh, there's the other big boy. I would also say in some ways they ruin doubles because... Clem's hack and strength. <clears throat> Like, everyone expects there to be entry hazards in singles. In doubles, uh, people don't expect it as much. So I've actually seen a few people use them in doubles, especially because a lot of people realize if I just pair that with a redirect or these basic... Like, this is free real estate at this point. Do we have an escape rope? Because I think this is one of the times we should just use one of those fucking things. That's also something we need to buy in excess. Check after this. I think we have the one. <laughs> It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So anyway, would you prefer if all entry hazards disappeared after a couple of turns? On top of that, like Curzon said, stealth rocks and spikes need to be able to get destroyed by... A certain type entering battle. I'm not exactly sure what type that should be. His idea of rock and or steel types being able to remove both stealth rocks and spikes would be really good if we keep the type idea in play. Bug types being able to remove sticky web is kind of funny to me and that also means bug types could then be a bit more useful outside of the one or two common bug types like Caesar that run around but I also feel like heavy duty boots should be able to straight up destroy entry hazards on entry and if anyone is going to say that is far too overpowered you give up an item slot on a Pokemon for an item that lets that Pokemon remove entry hazards. I think that is a fair trade. And if you're really that butthurt about that as an idea, you could always just spam Knock Off and remove the heavy duty boots. Knock Off is super common for that exact reason. I also feel like entry hazards going away over time would be great as well. Entry hazards, in my opinion, are way too controlling and they smother the metagame, especially in singles, because if you get up entry hazards, it pretty much means a bunch of Pokemon are now way less useful, and that is fucking stupid, in my opinion. But anyway my overall point here i really do think entry hazards need a couple of extra nerves and i wanted to know if any of you agreed with me because i find it ridiculous that you effectively need a good rapid spin user and a pokemon with defog simply to help clear out entry hazards you can leave your thoughts opinions and answers in the comments or you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links, as well as my Discord link, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shill for a minute if you subscribe to the channel. And if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I hope I will see you all next time. So as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.